Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Walmart here, I notice they have their Nature Fresh Farms tomatoes on the vine. It says $1.98 a pound. That don't sound right. It is. That's pretty expensive. Mangoes and pineapples have dropped a little bit in price here. Uh, $1.08 which is what they were a couple months ago, and we saw them go up to $1.18, $1 eight now, and pineapples have dropped from $2.24 to $2.18, but the ones for $2.24 were the Chiquita. These are the Fifes. They have a rollback offer on corn on the cob, but I gotta say, this corn here looks like it was probably left around from last year. Uh, they're pretty much 50 cents an ear pretty much everywhere we've been lately, and this is definitely, I don't know, these are very tiny. We're noticing Walmart is getting very expensive on different produce items and stuff. Well, these are organic blueberries right here. It's one pint for $4.66 though. $4.47 for the market side strawberries. These things look like plasticky almost. I don't know. I don't, they don't look all that great. They might be good. I don't know. I've never tried them. But $7.58 for the two pounds. They do have the... Um, organic strawberries here which is the good farms this is one pound for 383 and i gotta say these look better than the ones that are more expensive wow grapes have shot up in price guys this is ridiculous these were a dollar nine these were a dollar 68 a pound the last time i was here we saw they'd gone up to 208 a pound and then came down 238 a pound now that's crazy what is causing grape prices to go up so high here at Walmart? At first glance here, guys, it looks like everything has gone up. We've been getting a lot of comments on the channel that Walmart's prices across the country have been kind of skyrocketing. So I wanted to get here, kind of check it out for myself. These five-pound bags of mandarins, the halos, these were $6.64 the last time I was here. Now they're $6.97. The three-pound bags here were $3.98. Now they are 446. Uh 449 for the four pound bag. Actually, these were on a rollback offer for 398, but the regular price was 449. Now 498 for four pounds. Two pound packages of kiwi fruit the last time I was here was 398. Now they are 448. We are seeing some significant price increases today. This is ridiculous. So they have their broccoli here for two, $2.24 a pound. That is up from $1.98 a pound. But we've been seeing broccoli go up everywhere lately. Somebody asked about cauliflower. I do say it looks pretty good, but it's $3.24 here, right? And this was $2.78, one of the cheapest places to get it for a while. And they were getting it in. About a month ago, we, we couldn't find cauliflower anywhere. The only place we could find it was Meyer, And yeah, a little over a month ago, but $3.24 now for that. This corn here looks a little better, but not much. Um, they still have their peppers here for $1.38, but we've been seeing a lot of sales on peppers lately. Someone had said that mushrooms had gone up at your Walmart. Um, they're still the same price here, two, on the cheapest ones. $2.08 here for the whole mushroom, whole white mushrooms, and then $2.18 for the sliced. I do have to say they look pretty good. We've come into Walmart and they look terrible before, but they must have just got these in. They look very nice. So I don't know if they just had the wrong sticker over there or if this is the wrong sticker, but this is showing the same. Oh, these aren't the organic. Okay, that's what it is. $3.27. Still way too much for a pound of strawberries at Walmart. Somebody had mentioned this one. Uh, yeah, $6.97 was the price before for the 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. $7.97 now. $7.90. That's the most expensive anywhere. Okay, not messing around here, guys. I know everybody was talking about the canned goods going up in price. They sure have. Uh, they're 64 cents here for the great value. I know we had a few comments. Uh, some people were saying they were 68 cents. So a little cheaper here at our Walmart, but still they've gone up. The ones right here last week, a little over a week ago, these were 50 cents a can on their rollback offer. 64 cents a can. Now, you know, the quality is here, though, with great value. Um, 
I had been saying for a month that these were going to be going up. They finally did. It does look like Del Monte's the same price though, but it's $1.38 a can. Somebody had left a comment in one of our older videos that Jif peanut butter doesn't taste the same. I have not had Jif peanut butter since the last recall over a year ago. Um, not that I hold a grudge or anything. <laughs> uh, they still got the Peter Pan for $5.24 uh, for the 40 ounce, or is that 40 ounce? Yeah, 40 ounce. 28 ounce is still $3.72, which this did go up. This was $3.48. 372 now it's been there for a little while but wanted to point that out somebody asked about it another thing too that we've been kind of keeping an eye on is jelly and jams um one thing i have noticed here at walmart is they've condensed it which is kind of funny not funny we've been noticing this at a lot of places lately uh they do got the grape jelly in here but um the big thing is that they are condensing this it used to extend out to this other aisle here wow story of the day big Mount Olive kosher dill pickles here. Oh, these are the spears. Okay. $8.39, 36 cents. I haven't seen the spears in a while, but these did go up too. The big dill pickles. These were $6.48, went to $6.98, now $7.23. Last year these were $5.98. They keep going up. They used to be at Sam's for $4.98, but they've gone up there too. We had some people asking about Del Monte canned fruits. Um, probably still the cheapest place to get them. $2.28 for most of them, unless you get some of the bigger ones here. Uh, and that's up from $2.18. It's been a while, though. They went up the same time as Great Value went up. These were $1.28 a can, then they went to $1.38 a can. This was the cheapest place to get the Keystone meats, and now they're catching up with everybody else. One of them even more here, the pork, $9.22. believe this went up to $9.49 at Kroger, though, so might still be the cheapest one. $8.52 now for the chicken. Keep in mind, less than a couple months ago, these were just under $8 a can. Someone also asked in an older video if I could check out some of the prices of the Wolf brand chili. Walmart's about the only place we can really find it anymore. You can find it at Kroger sometimes when they have it in. Um, $2.08 a can here uh, at Walmart, though. It's pretty much the cheapest around. Um, I think Dollar General used to sell it, but their prices have been going up too. So They still have the tuna creations for a dollar on their rollback offer. Um, Definitely, you know, it's been on here for a long time, so I would definitely, like, maybe take a picture of this so that, you know, if it, in case they went up or the stickers change, they still give it to you for this price. Uh, I did notice that the great value ones went up to 92 cents. These were 88 cents, so it didn't go up by much, but still a price increase. That's all of our Bigelow tea lovers. Uh, you might want to come to Walmart to get them before they go up again. We've been seeing these go up everywhere. $4.19 a pack at Kroger now. 313 still here at Walmart, which is up from 298, but still way cheaper than Kroger. Well, no more dollar spices here at Walmart, guys. They are one dollar and twelve cents. So they've gone up twelve cents. This is the big stack where they were always a dollar. Can't say I'm surprised. I do have to say, bacon remains some decent prices here at Walmart. That's probably why they're selling a lot of them. We get good comments on the uh, Great Value Bacon. Not one of my favorites, but it is still $4.24 a pound. It used to be $3.98, but it's been a long time for that. $5.98 for the Oscar Mayer, one pound. Uh, they got the center cut here, still on a rollback for uh, $6.48. So, yeah, not the worst prices we've seen for sure. I don't know if the Land of Frost products are really worth it anymore. I'm not a huge fan. I mean, they're okay, but $5.67 for these now, I just feels a little much. At, when they rate, when they went up to $4.98, I thought that was too much. They do have some of the great value, which went up. These were $3.98, now $4.46. That's crazy. $7.50 for one pound of Hillshire Farm and Cons. Huh. The funny thing is, is they still have the nine ounces for $4.50. Now these were $3.98 too, not that long. I mean, well, now it's been about six or seven months, but I did want to point out this here at Kroger is, it was $5.49, we'll have to check. Uh, I saw it on sale at Kroger one time for $5.29, but still way cheaper here at Walmart. 
So we never used to get uh, great value cheese, but I gotta say it is really good. Seven dollars and forty-eight cents a pound is a little much. I mean, I remember these were five ninety-eight a little over a year ago. They shot straight up to seven dollars and forty-eight cents. There was no in between for these, which I thought was just. This was one of the things we were talking about a while ago. We saw them all disappear, and then sh all of them came back in at a much higher price. But it's still good, and it's about the same price or less than what you're going to get at most grocery stores. And I said one pound. I meant to say two pounds there. Uh, I don't know if this is 318. If it is, that's a sale, and this might be the way to go. Normally, 398. I wish they would put what this is here because that every time I swear every time I get something thinking it's that price, it'll be for something else. Um, but yeah, if that's 318 for one pound pack, makes it 636 for two pounds. And you can keep one without opening it for a while. That's pretty good. Great value sliced cheese is still $2.22. I do have a feeling like these are some of the things that are probably next on the list to go up in price. So find one with a pretty long expiration date and stock up on a couple of them. I wanted to check last time I was here at Walmart. They were completely out of their pillsbury grands looks like they have come back in i kind of thought it was funny because we've been seeing them everywhere they do have the walmart ones the great value which are up from a dollar 68 to a dollar 78 um tried these one time not as good as pillsbury we like the aldi ones and they're way cheaper um well not much cheaper than the walmart ones but you know it's okay no shortage of sour cream here at Walmart. If you were one of the 100 people that have commented on sour cream and cottage cheese over the last month or so, you might want to check Walmart. They got uh, plenty of it. Great value cottage cheese. Uh, I'm not a big fan of cottage cheese anyway, but I've heard that great value is really good. And I can attest that the Daisy sour cream is really good. That's Jessica's favorite. Ugh, this don't look good. Major shortage of eggs here. Um, I don't see any 60 count eggs. Oh, here they are. Look at this. $8.24. Wow. This was $10.72 the last time I was here. A couple weeks ago. $8.24. That's amazing. That's probably why they're not here. Everybody's buying them. Wow. That's a good deal. Uh, $2.82 for 18 count eggs. That's down. Uh, $5 for the... Uh, 36 count eggs. I can't get over this. $8.24. That's amazing. Can't see it down here, but where this flap is, the price $1.70. $1.70 for 12 count eggs. Now, this is what I'm talking about, guys. We were talking about this. I'm telling you, people are listening. You know, I, I think this is really good at Walmart to drop these prices down so much. That's awesome. So we got a couple comments on Gatorade over the last couple weeks and just wanted to point out, you know, yeah, it's $1.72 for one of the 28 ounces, which is ridiculous, but $1.99 now at Kroger. And look at this. They have the eight packs of the 20, uh, 20 ounce Gatorades here, $6.48 regular price. These are now $8.29, $8.29 at Kroger. Okay, so I noticed salmon went up here. Uh, the Atlantic salmon here, filet, 1048. 1048 a pound. That is up from 948 a pound. And we're noticing this a lot more with meats here at Walmart. And I, I know it does vary from state to state or even city to city, maybe town to town. But yeah, we can find, you know, chicken wings have been coming down in a lot of different stores. 368 a pound for a family pack of chicken wings with today's prices coming down that's a bit bit crazy they need to come down a lot more than that uh they do have butterball here but it comes at a price i know we get comments on butterball uh ground turkey they have the 97 percent lean for 646 a pound they do have some of the other things like the different parts and stuff drumsticks turkey wings stuff like that so i mean it's a good option to have and walmart's one of the only places at least around here that even sells butterball it just amazes me that these prices, like on pork, I mean, you know, Kroger is one of the most expensive grocery stores around here when it comes to regular prices. Also the best place to get sales, 
It's kind of funny how that works, but these prices here at Walmart on pork is just outrageous. I mean, you can pretty much find it cheaper anywhere. I thought Walmart was doing good when we saw the uh, hamburger prices drop down about six or seven months ago. We saw them drop down significantly, like $3, but we've seen them jump back up to $3. This was just under $30, now $32.92 for that. Steak prices, guys, here at Walmart are just absolutely insane. New York Strip, okay, thin cut, sure. Yeah, that's going to cost a little bit. $17.97 a pound. Come on, that's crazy. $12.97 for a T-bone per pound. And that's the thing with Walmart, you know, we never see like rollback offers on steak or anything. Maybe every once in a blue moon. But uh, $6.97 for roast. For a roast I, I i don't know i i mean i know and that's per pound not for the roast but you know yeah 7.99 regular price at kroger but they've got it on sale right now for 4.99 a pound we'll never see a sale here at walmart for this something i just noticed here at walmart and maybe this has been around for a while but i just kind of glanced my eye have the prices been off of the top corners of these for a long time these were 2.98 i know that um, and I don't really eat this stuff, but I do notice things and um, I don't know. I remember like the highlighted like I know that little Debbie Yeah, see how they have the prices here and they changed this for a while too to where they could change the price Smart by them, but this used to be where it would be like just the number in the top corner They were $2.99 and now they're $3.48 at Walmart and no more numbers on the box now I just want to show the SpaghettiOs here. Still $1.26 a can, but as you see here, and if you guys, hey look, I just noticed this. Walmart got the yum yum sauce back in too. Somebody was asking about this months ago. We saw inconvenience stickers at Kroger and everything. We saw this yesterday in our Kroger video. Make sure you check that out if you missed it. A lot of shortages. But uh, yeah, this has been gone at Walmart here forever. Notice it just came in. But anyway, back to Chef Boyardee. We notice that they have condensed this into one group here, right? I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's the smallest we've ever seen here at Walmart. And they are putting theirs over here. Their brand used to be right over here where this extra macaroni is right now. Never tried theirs before, so, but it is 92 cents a can. Not a bad price. Does look like they're a little low on macaroni and cheese, but not like the shortage of most people been talking about on the channel. Uh, we've had a bunch of people say there's major shortages of macaroni and cheese. Um, we've been seeing that as well, but not. It's it's been fairly low. But we remember a couple years ago though, uh, where it was completely wiped out. So it is possible. They do have quite the variety of the Ben's Original Ready Rice. I gotta say though, and there are many other rice options too, like the Minute Rice. We always get comments on. Um, but these are two dollars and thirty three cents. Two fifty nine now a pack at Kroger. We saw a Target where they were like the cheapest there for the longest time, but they're $2.79 now at Target. So that one's out of out of our league. But $2.33 for these, about the best price we can find right now unless you find a sale. If you're having trouble finding the distilled white vinegar, Walmart does have it. Uh, their big gallon jugs are $2.98. We've seen this anywhere between $3.30 and $3.69 at Kroger. Uh, pretty much anywhere else. So $2.98, that's about the cheapest I've seen it, uh, unless you find it in like smaller portions at like a dollar store or something. Um, but even that is getting more expensive there too. $1.28 for just the smaller bottle um, if you don't need as much, but definitely the better deal to get the gallon for $2.98. Don't want to spend too much time on this, but we keep getting comments of shortages of rice and dry beans. Just kind of panning over a little bit here to see what Walmart has. Um, it does look like they've got about the same amount as what they had the last time I was here, but the time before that, they were pretty wiped out. So we like to keep an eye out on this because we know this is a shortage. Rice and dry beans, uh, major shortages all around the world, not just the country. So I like to pay attention to this one. I can't wait for the day that I find another sale on these dehydrated potatoes. I swear I'm going to buy up a bunch of them. We have a bunch, but it's like you can't even get them cheap at Walmart anymore. $1.44 a bag. $1.49 everywhere else in the city of Cincinnati. So I don't know. Even even the cheaper stores, uh, the people are saying they have them at Dollar Tree. They If they do, I they're gone before I have a chance to get there because I never see them there. Um, 
but yeah i mean they do have an okay selection but we're just gonna wait till they go back on sale at kroger or meyer or something now as far as nor pasta sides go walmart's the way to go guys dollar 12 that's the cheapest we've seen anyway it's pretty much a dollar 39 everywhere we go kroger and meyer dollar 39 a bag dollar 12 here that's a good deal this is where we buy them got a couple more comments on hunt's uh, tomato sauce want me to check out making sure that it's coming in at walmart um it is uh definitely is and i don't feel like there's much of a shortage around here but we've gotten comments where it's been low in some of your stores across the country they do have red gold down here for a little bit cheaper than at kroger kroger actually has them on sale this week for a dollar a can though so i recommend getting them at kroger dollar 12 regular price here at Walmart, but $1.29 regular price at Kroger. So cheaper at Kroger this week, next week Walmart. Also, they've got their great value diced tomatoes. And the best thing about this is they're really good and they're 88 cents a can. Someone was asking about Prego sauce, spaghetti sauce. Uh, regular price here at Walmart is $2.38, which is actually pretty good because um, it was $2.28, but it went up to $2.38. Kroger's now is $2.79 regular price, but if you can get to Kroger here before Tuesday, today is May 6, 2023 on Saturday. You'll be seeing this on Sunday, May 7th, 2023. So if you can get to Kroger by the end of the sale of Kroger Sales Week on Tuesday, they have these for $1.79 a piece on the digital coupon. I do love the Goya options that they have at our Walmart, at least. Uh, some of the prices, yeah, have gone up. Some of them are still the same. Some of these we can get at Dollar Tree even a little cheaper, like these two here, black beans and the red kidney beans, $1.42, $1.25 at Dollar Tree, so a little cheaper there, but Dollar Tree doesn't have the options that Walmart does, and they don't carry the uh, beans either. Well, the beans went up. These were $1.98 a pack here at Walmart, uh, $2.16 a bag now, but for the uh, these ones here, $2.28, they've got the adobo spices here for $1.88. And another one for $1.98, some of the bigger ones here. But yeah, nice selection here at Walmart. And if you come over to the other side here, they have some other products. I'll tell you what, if you really want to see a huge selection of Goya products, if you're around Cincinnati, Ohio, visit Jungle Gyms. They have like an entire section. And I mean like two or three aisles of nothing but Goya products. It's pretty pretty cool to see, really. I, I, never, I, never, I didn't know Goya made that much stuff. But yeah, they got some of the jasmine rice down here also. Don't see prices on it, but somebody was asking about this a while ago. Walmart, very low on sugar, which is kind of surprising because, uh, yeah, it's one of the most expensive around. $2.94 still for the four-pound bag, and the 10-pound bag is $6.47 still. Uh, let's see. I wonder if Domino went up here back it up here a second nope still four dollars and 33 cents we saw it go up to 4.79 at kroger they're out of the 10 pound bags but they're still eight dollars and eighty eight dollars and 38 cents but guys one thing i will always say take a photo of some of this stuff because chances are you know maybe maybe not they may not have gotten the right stickers up uh, we do see that a lot these days but i did check the sugar prices and these are correct there's not even a sticker here for that i had to check it on my phone here Still $6.47. I don't know. It's crazy because we've been seeing these prices come down at Kroger and Meyer, but not here or Aldi. Still the cheapest place to get gold metal flour, five pound bag for $3.83, but something else I would rather take a picture of because they've been skyrocketing in price. And now there was a, a uh, recall that happened about a week ago. Make sure you check online for that. Um, but yeah, cheapest around as long as the prices didn't change. They do have their flour though. Uh, 10 pound bags for $3.98. You can't beat that. Five pound bag for $2.24. And if you don't like to buy a lot and just like the little two pounders, $1.16. You can't even get two pounds of flour at Dollar Tree for $1.16. They have the King Arthur here too. We've been seeing a few different places where King Arthur has gone up. Um, all purpose flour here, still $5.24. Again, I'm kind of questioning it, seeing as many price increases, and this one too, $7.33. We've been seeing this right around $10 or even more. So I don't know if, you, if that's the price, then that's pretty awesome. Even though Walmart doesn't have quite the selection that Meyer does when it comes to other different baking, like pancakes and waffles and 
uh, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. I do like how they kind of put it all together here instead of spreading it out in different aisles with matched names of the product. Uh, I mean, that's okay, like if it's Goya or something, you know. Usually, Walmart's the only place that does that with Goya, though, that kind of batches them together because you'll find Goya products kind of mixed in everywhere in different aisles. But it does look like uh, Walmart's... Well, I don't know. I mean, they've actually seem like they have more spices in now than they did the last time I was here. Got another comment about salt. Look at this. Look at this. Dollar forty-three for Morton salt. This was a dollar thirty-nine or a dollar twenty-nine. Now a dollar forty-three. We've been seeing it go up everywhere, but I've been telling people the cheapest place is still Walmart. Now it's not. I will say one good thing about our Walmart here. They have changed the lighting system. It's a lot brighter in here. I like that. Can see everything very well. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, seeing the prices the way they are, broccoli cuts here, bird's eye, dollar twenty three. Um, somebody was asking about those. That's what the price is here. Walmart. They do have the uh, broccoli florets here for dollar sixteen. Of the great value. We get good comments on great value uh, frozen vegetables here. They've got the California style vegetable mix. I like this stuff here. Dollar twenty seven a bag. For 12 ounces that's not bad got the brussels sprouts here i believe these are 10 ounces uh nope they're 12 ounces uh dollar 42 for these they have moved in a lot of bird's eye products looks like this is i thought this was just going to be temporary but this might be the way it stays uh they got the mixed vegetables here these are the only ones that are still 88 cents is the mixed vegetables everything else peas and carrots sweet peas green beans these are oh well not these these are the bigger bags but uh most of all the different uh 12 ounce bags peas corn green beans 98 cents a bag here's the corn i'm starting to think they were out of it here it's over one the top aisle 98 cents here but i did want to point out uh somebody was asking about the uh frozen corn on the cob yeah i haven't been seeing it anywhere i looked at kroger the other day didn't find them there how much these are the 493 493 so not the cheapest uh this is green giant though i don't see a great value brand is this it yep here it is look at that that's only three of them uh, two dollars though so for four dollars you can get six ears and they are split they are split in the middle um but yeah we've never had any problems with any great value vegetables they've always been pretty good well, I guess everybody must have been asking about these. Ask and you shall receive. They do have a whole side cabinet here of the Green Giant. They are $4.93, though, uh, for only four of them. You get six of them for $4 of the Great Value brand. I remember somebody said they were getting the uh, Aldi graham crackers because Honey Made was getting too expensive. These are right around $5 at Kroger. $4.58 here at walmart this was the cheapest place to get them for 348 there for a while but i guess they're catching up that's why i always say take a picture of some of these stickers that look very low because they may have gone up and they just haven't changed them yet as we see here here's a bunch more of these six packs of gatorade that we saw for 648 in the back here up front 748 so i thought it was too good to be true but that's why i always say take the photos so that you know at least you know they may or may not give it to you for that price but i don't know it's always worth a shot well if there's any good thing to be said doesn't seem like walmart had many shortages on groceries so that's good um and i remember this particular walmart a year and a half ago this is one of the places where they were getting very low on stuff really hard for them to get stuff in but looks like it's pretty good on that front as far as prices go pretty ridiculous um I, not everything but i'll tell you what most things we looked at today had, had gone up in price more meat prices have gone up to ridiculous levels i don't know if you know i don't know if that's walmart's fault or the company's fault who sell it i i don't even know anymore guys all i know is that it's getting unaffordable i will say this i had a thing of the gatorade I scanned it at the front when I showed you the $7.48. It's still $6.48, so I don't know if they, maybe it dropped a dollar, so that would be cool if it did. But I got an eight pack for uh, $6.48, so that's good. Also, I scanned the cheese 
the one pound thing of cheese is $3.98. So that sign they have up, and they said, well, that's probably for a different different brand. And I'm like, great value is all there. Anyway, whatever, $3.98 for that. So it's not $3.18. So the two pound bag is a better deal at $7.48. But, you know, it's crazy. A lot of people always, I know new viewers want me to come to Walmart. We come to Walmart maybe once every couple weeks to check on some of the prices because, you know, it's like I don't, things will be probably be right about the same next week uh they don't change as fast as like kroger and meyer um but you know i still like walmart for some things cheap clothing uh stuff like that but all in all okay trip to walmart i was glad to check out a lot of the products that you guys have been asking about looks like walmart has a bunch of those but anyway everybody have a great weekend thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.